Bowling Green, Kent State. Bowling Green, eight-point road favorites. Uh, 41 and a half the total uh, here in this game. You know, when, when I see 41 and 41 and a half with these MAC games, I'm trying to make every excuse I can make to bet an over. You know, because I often find that, you know, with these teams, that's not asking a lot. And I feel I'm going to get there with the over. Now, we do see rain showers again, just like the last game. There's a chance of rain uh, Wednesday night at Kent State. 12 mile per hour wind, though, so wind won't be too bad. And I was on the over last week with Kent State and Akron, but ugly teams. We know that, uh, both of them. But I said it got to the point where it got down to as low as 37 and a half, 38, that total. I'm like, that's just too low for a couple of bottom feeder Mac teams that are not good defensively, that have been bad offensively, but they're playing each other. Maybe it's a chance to, you know, open up the playbook a bit and get some things going offensively. And that game flew over the total last week with Kent State and Akron. And like I said, I bet the over in that game just because that number I felt was too low. I kind of think that here with Bowling Green and Kent State, just a little bit too low. And look, Kent State moved the ball last week. Kent State's offense has been a problem, but they're still running not quite the Sean Lewis tempo uh, on offense, but they're still playing above average as far as pace and tempo uh, in their games, Kent State. Their offense definitely showed improvement. Now, Kent Akron's brutal defense was part of that, but I think another part of it was the quarterback here finally getting comfortable, Tommy uh, Ulatowski here for Kent State played well, 229 through the air, three touchdown passes uh, in the game against uh, Akron uh, last week. So steps in the right direction for Kent on offense. You know, I think they can be able to punch in some points here against uh, Bowling Green. Bowling Green's the better team, but definitely I think Kent can score. And Bowling Green will move the football on this Kent defense. We know Kent State has had issues stopping teams all year. Connor Bazelak's been around the block, former Missouri quarterback. Uh, and uh, definitely I think this offense will probably overwhelm Kent State. So Bowling Green will probably do the majority of the scoring. But I think Kent State chips in as well. I'm Like I said, rain showers, but not heavy wind. I'm very interested over 41 and a half here. What say you, C-Mac? It's just I don't love to do it, but Bowling Green is the better team here. You know, I talked about most times I want these points. Uh, and you're getting over a touchdown with Kent State. but. They just haven't been good at all. Both sides of the ball. The, I, I, I don't know how Bowling Green doesn't, you know, get 30 here, at least, you know, 24 in this matchup, even with Bazelak. And Bowling Green has the better defense. On the flip side, Kent State just really can't stop anybody. The numbers have been awful for them. So, you know, I lean Bowling Green. Maybe you get the, you look at their team total in this matchup. You don't want to lay the seven and a half. You look that way in this game and uh i might do that so this is a wait right, for we, me 